Hey everybody, I'm getting a bunch of my logs peeled and I'm stacking them out. I got mold tin that I'm going to uh, lay on top of it to keep them dry while they're seasoning. And when I lay these out, I'm uh, putting the crown side up. I'm not sure where it's going to help or not, but, but it's better than having the crown down. And... Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to select uh, trees. You know, you don't want defects and you don't want them uh, to have a whole lot of limbs and you want them straight as possible. But my neighbor, he's kind enough to uh, give me these trees. They got a, a tree farm and they're thinning out the trees and they could sell these, but they're, but they're going to give them to me. and. Uh, I'm certainly thankful for it, and I want to thank them. But uh, the next row of trees are going to go on here. And I'm doing this all by hand, uh, peeling them and moving them down here and stacking them. See, I'll roll them. I'm rolling them down this, this way, and then I'll roll them on top of here. And then these short uh, black posts, they're going to they're gonna eat them out on the bottom where they'll sit straight. And these are old fence posts, and I don't throw them away. They are all my old tins. And right here is where we all floated our trees. And you can see where I've been uh, cleaning these knots on here. And what I do I, on the small knots, I start, well, I'll show you here. This, see this right here, you start from the top. And you, you you go into the where the uh, limb is on the top, and you get that. And you hit it just like that, and then come around and hit it from the back side. See, and then it's smooth. And if there's a hump there, you can try and take it out. Here's another one right here. And this is better than, uh, you see how smooth that is? This is better than using a chainsaw, but if it's too big, then you'll have to use a chainsaw. But you won't get this bark out above that, where that knot is, because you don't want your uh, draw knife to be hanging up on it. You don't want your draw knife hanging up on that on that knot. So that's all that's all there is is to that. Here's a bigger one. If there's a hump in it, a lot of times you may want to take some of the hump out, you know. While you're there, and now straight straighten your actually straighten your log up some. Alright. Got that out of the way. See, that's when I get all these cleared, it'll be ready for my draw knife. But you start from the top and go down toward the limb on uh, when you clean out the knots, and then you want to start from the bottom of the tree and work your way up when you peel them. And what I do, I like it right here because I can get to, by myself. I can get the logs up on here by myself. And then uh, I don't have to li actually lift them. I can roll them up on there. So uh, if I get into a big log, then I I'm not straining to get it up on some saw horses. Plus, I like it because I'm straddle of it. And even though I'm bent over, I still straighten up and keep moving. So it's not bad. And I can actually use some of my weight when I'm drawing the knife and holding it down against the uh, tree. But uh, what I do is I'll peel the center off right here, going working up the tree, peel the center off, and then I'll do the sides. And when I start on the sides, you'll see me, I'll hold tight against that side. And as I draw it back, this side here will move toward the top again, just like this, starting right like that and drag, drag it down. So you actually like slicing it. I'll show you. Alright. Now hug the side you're going down. 
you can see the see the knife start to go down it'll end up this will be down and I, then I hug this side work my way down I get down there as far as I can and come back get a little bit of that inner bark off there if I want to there's a little bit of and I just keep working and get as much of this as I can and then I'll just roll it over one time and finish it up. So I'll keep working my way down this way. And uh, I'll be cutting some logs later on. I'm going to finish these up, get these stacked and let them be seasoned. So anyway. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you later.